All right, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Tuesday, the 1st of November, 2022. First things first, as you can see, the Halloween festivities are over, and we have switched back to the standard uh, decorations here for the office, uh, which is nice because now you can actually see them with the better webcam for the first time. You can see more of the detail of the things that have been behind me for the past couple of months. Remember, over the summer, I cleaned out my closet. We found a lot of new decorations and things to add, but they weren't very visible because my camera stunk. This camera is a lot more sharp than the other one. So uh, I hope you enjoy for the month of November. Speaking of which, today on the Level 1 Podcast, I kind of gave a pretty good preview of November, explaining, you know, we have the animations have been refreshed now, and I have them all on one side, and the text has been updated, so they're easier to see now. Um, and that the month of November is very chock full of new releases, Gave an interesting update on the schedule on how I'm trying to approach finishing said new releases in a set amount of time. Um, announced the new uh, members goal for the month. Uh, talked about the members reward we're going to already have this month. The Black Friday uh, ad apocalypse spectacular. A um, lot of stuff. Then also, I talked about a large YouTuber by the name of Moist Critical who mentioned me uh, on his stream. And apparently mentions me every once in a while on his streams. Um, I deleted the clip, you know. I, I was I was looking at it, and I was like, I'm not angry. It just sucks that so many of these guys have this misrepresentation and mis misinformation about me, and they only watch these highlight videos, and then they think that's the real me, when in reality, if you just sat around and watched some of my content, you would realize what these videos say about me is not true. So I talked about that at length on the show. I have absolutely no idea if Moist Critical would even care about listening to my response to the things he said about me, but it is what it is, all right? Um, and then today's first stream was a Plague Tale Requiem. We continued on where we left off a week ago when my TV died. We got our answer to the cliffhanger ending, and sadly, it just wasn't a great one. Uh, I hate to say it, <clears throat> but I feel like the game could have gone in a pretty interesting direction, but it kind of didn't. It kind of baited like it was going to and then did not and got way more predictable, which is kind of disappointing. Um, today, the gameplay was pretty good, except there was one part where the gameplay mechanics were constantly failing, including a game bug where one of the characters was getting frozen in animation, going like this and wouldn't even move, and... If anything, like, I like the game still, but I feel like, uh, sadly, the game really shows that it's a double-A studio and not a triple-A. You know, there's there are these issues with some of the, the puzzles, some of the gameplay mechanics. They're like, man, if only this were a triple-A studio, this game could have been, like, absolutely groundbreakingly, draw-droppingly perfect, and <clears throat> it's definitely not. And I don't know if that's necessarily even their fault. But I still like the game a lot, and I'm looking forward to more of it later this week. Um, so we had three hours of progress, and it's looking like at least one to two more streams to finish it. We're in chapter 11 now, but chapters 9 and 10 were quite lengthy. I'm definitely guessing that chapter, you know, coming up, there'll be a few chapters that'll be shorter, since the game has 17 chapters. Um, I, I'm a good, at least 15, 16 hours in. People said it's around 20 to 22 hours long, so you probably figure two more streams, I'll probably wrap it up. Uh, on the late stream tonight, we did Modern Warfare 2's campaign, continuing on. And it was pretty good, although admittedly there was a couple parts there that were kind of, whoa. Like, there's a segment where you have to hijack a car and then it becomes like Grand Theft Auto. You're now driving the car in third person. You switch back to first person to lean out the window and execute guys, then go back into the car. Then you're jumping to another car and hijacking that one. There's some <clears throat> on-rail shooting, but mostly it's maneuverability. Like, it really does feel like they wanted to do this like GTA. Um, although it does leave something to be desired. There's a lot of instant deaths, a lot of cheap stuff that happens too. Um... It was all right, let's put it that way. Um, overall, I had good t a good time tonight. I do feel like the campaign of Modern Warfare 2 is pretty solid, albeit there's a couple parts with a lot of deaths over and over, but for the most part, um, I'm liking it. I'm digging it. So, did good progress in that tonight as well. So, <clears throat> overall, a great streaming day, good progress in all the games that we needed to make progress in, okay? Tomorrow, Wednesday, is my final consecutive streaming day of the week. It'll be... Uh, level 1 podcast in the morning, followed by Gotham Knights now being the mainstream. We haven't played Gotham Knights in over a freaking week, which sucks because the game was getting better, in my opinion. I was liking it more and more the more I played it, and now it's been on hiatus for an extended period of time. So I hope we could jump in tomorrow, and I can remember what the heck I'm doing in the game and have a good time with it uh, on the first stream. And then the late stream tomorrow night will be the conclusion of the campaign of Modern Warfare 2. If I don't happen to uh, need too much time to do that, then we could always swap over and do some multiplayer. I've actually been craving... More Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer ever since Saturday when I played it my second session. But, you know, this week has not allowed for me to really play it. You know, I've been doing a, a million other things, <clears throat> including the Halloween Marathon yesterday. Which, by the way, if you didn't catch up on it yet, it is all available right here on DSP Gaming. You can watch it at your own leisure, you know. All right, guys, great streaming day today.
Had a lot of fun. Please have a good night. I will see you tomorrow for Gotham Knights and the conclusion of Modern Warfare 2's campaign. Sound good? Thank you. Have a good evening. See you tomorrow.